In 2007, the Charlotte Area Transit System and the City of Charlotte opened North Carolina's first light rail line. The 9.6 mile Lynx Blue Line has exceeded expectations in ridership and real estate development along the route. Now construction is underway on an extension that will bring the train further north through the city to right here on the main campus of UNC Charlotte. Completion is targeted for 2017 and hopes are high that this extension will mirror the success of the original Blue Line. Well, the planning for the light rail system here in Charlotte began really back in the 1990s. Some might say even before that, as people were envisioning what Center City Charlotte might look like. It came on service in uh, like November of 2007. It's about 9.6 miles from uptown Charlotte to the I-45 interchange. Even from the earliest days, uh, ridership exceeded expectations. Even now, I think they're, they're well above where they thought they would be in terms of ridership. 16 to 17,000 on an average weekday. Uh, we have a lot of special event ridership. When we have events like Speed Week or basketball tournaments, we've seen uh, ridership numbers as high as 30 to 35,000. On the separate issue of would it spur economic development and growth along the line, which many of its promoters said it would, the answer is also yes. It's had phenomenal success. We've had about uh, one and a half billion dollars in, in investment. In the South End area, you're seeing uh, amazing amounts of growth, particularly apartments and residential, along with retail. The original transit plan here in Charlotte envisioned the extension of the light rail to UNC Charlotte. Then this past year, uh, got underway with groundbreaking. Of course, the university, uh, Chancellor Dubois, was present. The uh, university's played a big role in the project. In his first week as chancellor, I came to him as mayor and said, your decision will make or break this line happening. And he said, bring it on. He said, bring it on, mayor. The chancellor did demonstrate uh, significant leadership in working with CATS, uh, the city, Mecklenburg County, uh, and others to make sure that the university was an important player in the development, the design of that corridor, and understanding where it might come on, on the campus as a catalyst for, not only as a means of mobility for students and faculty and staff getting to the center city area, but also as a catalyst for the development of the university city area. We're gonna have 11 new stations that's gonna be coming on board. We're really full bore into construction right now. Completion is uh, estimated for the year 2017. Blue Line Extension will pick up from the current 7th Street station and we'll have a station at 9th Street, which is uh, adjacent to the UNC Charlotte downtown campus. And then we'll continue uh, northward. There'll be a station at Parkwood. There'll be a stop at uh, 25th Street. Then we move into the Noda area. Very eclectic and vibrant place that's a historic mill village from the early 20th century. Uh, has, over the last couple of de decades, emerged as an important sort of artist enclave. The light rail is going to be a positive impact on our business. It already has been. I mean, we're, we've been exponentially growing. That'll just bring more foot traffic in. It'll, it'll help sustain all the other businesses that are in this area. And as those businesses get stronger and stay stronger, then we stay stronger. Uh, then we continue along and we'll have a stop at Sugar Creek Station. When it hits Tryon, the first station is going to be at Old Concord. Then the next station is Tom Hunter. And then you got the University City Station and uh, the, the McCulloch, J.W. Clay, and then the Terminus Station is gonna be right on the campus of UNC Charlotte. So we got 11 stations, four parking rides, another 9.3 miles gonna be added as a result of the extension, bringing the whole total line to close to about 19 miles. I think it's gonna be tremendous. You, know, you have, in the next several years, uh, what people are projecting to be a 30,000 student population at UNC Charlotte, another 5,000 or so faculty and staff, who now will have direct access to the, uh, the center city without getting in their automobiles. And there's been a good partnership with the university. I mean, obviously we have to work on things like the transit passes so that the students, uh, rather than having to buy tickets at e you know, each trip, uh, we'll be, we're working with the university to try and come to an arrangement where students can possibly use their ID card or something like that as their ticket. I think it's neat. I think it'll be uh, easier to get uptown and not have to use my car. I think it's a great idea. Um, I know students go up and down a lot anyway, so I think it's safe. It's going to really expand our campus since it's easier to get to and from there. Everybody's just going to travel there a lot more. It also creates an opportunity for the university city area 
UNC Charlotte was built in on what was historically just a farm. And the development that has occurred there in the last couple of decades has primarily been of a suburban nature, uh, more automobile dependent, more spread out. And so UNC Charlotte's always lacked what many universities and colleges have, is that, that center place, that gathering place that we, we think of traditional college towns, but also in urban areas where urban universities are surrounded by a community. And I think the light rail creates that opportunity for the University City through good development to create that sense of community, that sense of identity that's always been lacking there. We think that uh, it has the potential to, to just to be a galvanizing economic uh, force along the whole line because we can see what has happened along, you know, so far on the Lynx line. I mean, if we could replicate just a portion of that, I mean, it would just be fantastic. We've seen a lot of development, a lot of multifamily housing. I think recently, in the last week or two, I've heard about some apartment projects that are planned up around the University City Boulevard area. So we think this will stimulate economic development along the corridor at the stations. It also provides a congestion-free travel alternative for folks in that North Tryon and I-85 corridor. How many universities of uh, UNC Charlotte's stature of its size had this kind of access to a major uh, vibrant urban core like Charlotte. Certainly hard to think of many in the southeast, but in terms of being an amenity, a place that defines UNC Charlotte, I think this light rail really does have that potential. Once this is done, everybody's going to sit back and look and marvel at the transformation that we're going to see with this new infrastructure. This connects us. This connects the region to education, to work, to jobs, to entertainment. And this is the fulfillment of one part of a major dream that so many of us were a part of.